o'clock. Here's tonight's WIS 7 at 7. We now know the identity of the 16 year old killed in a shooting just after midnight on Sunday. Officials have identified Julian Keel as the victim of a gunshot from a shootout at a graduation party. Columbia police say they do not have a suspect yet in that shooting, but they are urging community members with any tips that may lead to an arrest in this shooting to please come forward. A 17 year old accused of shooting a Richland County Sheriff's deputy canine will remain in jail. A judge denied bond this afternoon for Jeremy Taylor, who's accused of shooting RCSD canine Kobe back in March. Taylor is charged as an adult with attempted murder, unlawful injury to a police dog, failure to stop for blue lights, and grand larceny of a motor vehicle. After a stream of fires that broke out across the Midlands, the Irmo Fire Department is giving insight as to how to keep your home safe. Tips include eliminating any possible cause for flames when you aren't home, unplugging overlooked items, and more. You can head to WISTV.com for his full comments. Well, as the summer season is coming quick, the Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program is returning to all 46 counties across South Carolina. Through the program, South Carolinians who are 60 and older with an annual income of about $27,000 or less can receive five vouchers for $10 a piece. For the first time in U.S. history, the child of a sitting U.S. president is heading to trial. Jury selection began today in Delaware for the federal gun trial against Hunter Biden. He's accused of making false statements when purchasing a gun by checking a box that claimed he was not an active user of drugs. Well, after years of trying to ban the app, former President Donald Trump has joined TikTok. His first post on the platform was a 13-second video, which appeared to be filmed at a UFC event in New Jersey that he attended on Saturday. Trump saying that it was an honor to be joining the platform. And one New York teacher is giving a gift to one of her former students that you really can't put a price tag on. After learning of five-year-old Ezra's need, need for a liver transplant, Carissa Fisher, unbeknownst to his family, put in an application to be a living donor for Ezra's liver transplant. She says she looks to inspire others to consider becoming donors. And that's all for tonight's 7 at 7. Just an incredible gift. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You cannot put a price on that. I mean, just amazing for her to want to do that for him. I know. Just it, beautiful. The connection, certainly, yes. that she has to her student mm -hmm. and then to make a sacrifice like that. Yeah. Wow. Pretty incredible. Yes.